Well, good day, my 7th grade friends. This little video is going to be about line spacing. Here is an article typed, and somebody typed every single line. At the, when they got to the end of the line, they just kept on typing, and the computer just automatically wrapped down to the very next line, and this is called single space because this person typed on every single line. They didn't skip any lines. They typed every single line, single space. But I'm going to click in the middle of this paragraph, and I'm going to change the line spacing. The line spacing is this little one that has the up and down arrow. It says line spacing on it. I'll give it a click. And it says you have choices. You don't have to be single space. You could go down to double space. I'm going to choose double. Let's see what happens. Hey, the paragraph is now double space. Somebody did not type and then enter every single line. No, there's no enters. To make double space, you just go up to line spacing and you make double space. But did you notice it only works on one paragraph at a time? I'm going to go back to single space, and no matter where you are, if you're in this paragraph and you switch to double space, it will only double space the paragraph that you're in. Well, that's not always useful. Here, let me go undo. Undo is this one over here. So if you want to do the entire document, you might take your mouse and scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down till you get the whole thing, and then... You could go up and say, okay, I want the line spacing to be double spaced. And then, sure enough, everything's double spaced. Now, if you have it all blue like this, you are in the danger zone, my friend. This is the danger zone. Because if you tap any key on the keyboard while everything is highlighted, it's going to replace everything you have with whatever you type. Watch, I'm going to type the letter A. Here I go, letter A. Where'd my article go? Where's all my work? Mr. Lushenko. All my work is gone. Yeah, I know. You were in the danger zone. Let's do undo. You got to watch out. If you're in the danger zone, you got to click something. Click a word someplace. Maybe click up here someplace. And you got to get that blue highlight to go away. Whew, now you're out of the danger zone. If you want to select all the text, don't, don't drag, drag, drag and select text with your mouse like that. That's ridiculous. To select all is control A. Control A will select all. Now I'm going to change the line spacing back to single space. Hey, look at that. Watch out. You're in the danger zone. You're in the danger zone. Click the mouse someplace. Click right here someplace like that. Okay, Ooh, good, good, good. Well, I was in the danger zone for a minute there. I was a little worried. Let's change the line spacing again. I'll do control A, but this time instead of going up to this little convenient little button, you could go up to format and it has line spacing and then sure enough it has the same stuff as before. Hey, let's go see what one and a half is. 1.5 it says. Let's check it out. 1.5. Click someplace. You're in the danger zone. You're in the danger zone. Click someplace. Okay, whew, good. I'm out of the danger zone. 1.5 line spacing is often used in legal documents, but most of the time when we type, we just type in single space or double space. I'm going to highlight the entire document, control A, and a lot of times people like this 1.15. I think this might even be the default for Google Docs, 1.15, and they leave a little extra space between lines. I'm in the danger zone, but I don't mind right now. I'm going to go back to single. Let's compare. Single. And now let's compare 1.15. All right, it's a little bit more spread out, not too much more. Well, that's about all there is to line spacing, and that's about all there is to it.